here's my boy. I love this kitty. Do you remember when Atticus and his uh, siblings came, the school kitties came, how terribly bad condition they were? Um, that whole litter. Oh, can you hear him purring? He's just a purring away. I love him. They came in, they had ear mites, and they had fleas really bad, which um, also made them anemic. All of them were anemic, and they were very, very dirty. I remember when they came, it took, yes, it took two bubble baths to get you clean. Yeah. And um, they also had the herpes, the part of that upper respiratory, and they were so thin, so, so thin. They were so hungry. And uh, when uh, Atticus came in and the crew, they were only three and a half weeks old, and he only weighed 15 ounces. He wasn't even a whole pound yet. What are you looking at? And the weird thing about Atticus is um, he still has some bluish eyes going on, and it's just, can you look at them? Sean, I don't know if they'll show or not. Come here. But his eyes still definitely have a little bit of um, blue in them. So he's going to go. He does have a little bit of sneezy uh, yet. But Dr. Darcy's cleared him. His lungs are clear. His head is clear. He's just got a little bit of sneeze. And sometimes they, Dr. Darcy says, don't worry about it. They just have to outgrow it a little bit. The big things that we watch for, is he eating? Yes. Is he playing? Yes. Is he running around like a crazy little kitty? Yes and no um, eye gunk and no yellow sneeze. So we're gonna let him go and get out of here and be in his own home. But I shall miss him a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good boy. All he does is purr. He's a happy guy. You ready? All right, let's get ya. I will miss you. No, I don't think so, so I think we're getting one of the right